guys, it's your girl back again with another freaking video for y'all. You already know how we come in today. As y'all can see in today's title, we are trying Jollibee's or Jollibee's, however you say it, Jollibee's. Um, this is going to be America's Try Jollibee's. So uh, this restaurant was obviously recommended by a few family members. Um, I am, I, I do have a few, um, Filipina family members in my family so they have been recommending me to try this and I know I've seen a few other people try it before and so me and Cassie are gonna try it today how you feel about trying this I'm excited you excited mm -hmm. so yeah y'all we're just gonna kind of just you know give y'all some like insight on how everything tastes and like what our thoughts are you know don't be offended if we don't like something especially if y'all are from the culture we're not trying to offend y'all but you know not everybody likes everything. So we're going to be honest. We're going to be upfront and we're going to just give y'all the real raw truth on how we feel about this food today. Okay. So let me stand up. You know, this table is a little small, a little risky. We got this pineapple drink. It's a pineapple soda. I think so. It's some type of pineapple drink that they had offered with the meal. Another pineapple drink. I think the shards are in there too. All right, Michelle, I think this is the, uh, oh, this is the chicken tenders right here. Ooh, ooh la la. This is for Cassie, she got the chicken tenders. Then we have, what is this? Ooh, they kinda smell good. What is this? Did you order this? Mm, no, can I cook them? Is this like, oh my gosh, it's hard to open. And I have a white t-shirt on today. I always get food on a white t-shirt. So hopefully this works out right. Is it like gravy? I have the peach mango pie. Ooh. All right. Let's see what else. Then we have some spaghetti. Oh, let me open it for y'all. Eh, stuff, stuff is sealed in good. Y'all really sealed in y'all stuff. Yes. It's gravy. It's gravy? Y'all can see yeah. it. Spaghetti, I guess, with like cheese on it or something. All right, it's different. But you can smell the sauce. You can smell the sauce for sure. I'm not really a big spaghetti fan in general, but uh, Cassie is, so this should work out for her. Let me put this up here real quick. Here, put that over there too. It's gravy. It, this is gravy. Uh, All righty. Sauce is like clean sauce. Uh, Sursky. I got the Chicken Joy, which is... Two pieces of chicken I got spicy with french fries. Ooh. Wait, let me see. It looks good. I'm gonna have to try a piece. Girl, you gotta get like me. Sorry, our table is a little unsturdy, but we're trying. Okay. Then we have oh, french fries for Cassie in the bag. Okay. These are just for Cassie, her go with her chicken tenders. Okay, now let's see here what we got. You already tried it, Cassie? The hey. Fries, the fries. Hey, hey, hold on. You already tried it. No, the it. fries taste like McDonald's. They're, I can tell by the way they looked at it. Hey, you didn't even give me a chance to sit down and get comfortable before you start trying everything. I just wanted to fry. All right, all right, all right. I just thought she was going to wait. See how she just start eating, y'all, without even, like, thinking about me and my feelings? <laughs> what? I waited for you. Oh, it's pineapple juice for real. It's pineapple juice. It's not bad. Oh, that's fire. It's, it's just pineapple juice. Real life pineapple I thought it was gonna juice. It's gonna be more like pineapple soda. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a pineapple soda too. But it's pineapple juice. That's what's up. So. Damn. I mean, you don't really need the sauce. I might need the sauce. Let me try it. I might need to reheat this. I'm about to try the chicken without the sauce and then with the sauce. Yeah, the fries are good. I like the fries. They do taste like McDonald's fries. I see. The chicken's good. I like this. I just got the 
Regular chicken, fried chicken. Crunchy, the mm. fries are tasty. I didn't want it to be too spicy, it's not too spicy. Got a good flavor to it, the uh, chicken. I'm liking this, juice is good. They stole cane sauce, y'all. Look at this, I put it warm. I didn't know it came with sauce and it looks the same thing. It tastes the same, just like cane sauce. I knew it did. Jolly B, y'all over here still in Kane's recipe? What's the hardest part about being with somebody for years and years and years? Right. I feel like the hardest thing would be that roommate phase. Cause you know, you start so strong in a relationship and you're still strong, but like, you're like all lovey, dovey. And then sometimes life just, you just doing life, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think the hardest thing would be that roommate phase sometimes. You say like complacency of being in a relationship, not necessarily like the roommate phase, but more so like getting complacent and not doing the same things y'all used to do when y'all first met. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. I want to kind of clarify what she's saying. <laughs> she's just saying like, for her, the hardest part, part about maybe getting through a long-term relationship is getting in the complacent stage where y'all pretty much understand each other. Y'all know each other. Y'all are together all the time. And then it becomes a normal relationship. It's not as romanticized as it was in the beginning. Yeah. And I'm me, sorry, I think. But I, I don't really think. I personally don't. I don't think nothing's I wrong with that. I don't find anything like really that difficult. If, like if you're with like the right person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just know like that that phase can be a little, little struggle. Mm -hmm. I don't think it, I don't think it's normal. It's natural to have that because. As you grow, I mean, as you stay in something a long time, you get familiar with it. You don't have the same excitement for it like you used to. And that's fine, but at the same time, it's just remembering that that does happen and just finding ways to bring it back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's all. That's all it really takes. Yeah, it tasted like fish for a second. That's why I stopped eating it. So nice. Huh? No, I'm scared because I don't like to taste the fish. So once I taste something and it starts tasting like it, I'm like, mm. Can I try it? <clears throat> yeah, you want to try this piece right here? Yeah, just like ripping on. We represent for the spicy folks. <laughs> How do you feel about family members that don't like your partner or don't get along with your partner? Mm. How do you feel about that type of stuff? You um, think you agree with that type of mindset or do you disagree? I don't. I disagree because I feel like they're not the one that's dating that person. And the cash judgment just because maybe you don't like them and stuff. Like, if they're not doing anything to them, that really is like, like if they're still treating that person with respect and like, they're treating them really good. Um, I don't think it's any of your business. Cause if they know that they're treating them good and that they're happy, like now if there's like another situation where it's going south, you know, mm -hmm. then I can see why you'd step in. But if everything's good, like they're happy, it's something their business. Okay. Just let your family member be happy. I would say like people are gonna be people I don't agree with it I think it's wrong like if the person that you're dating isn't rude to these people haven't done anything wrong and they just like you for no reason that they just dislike you for no reason then it's kind of like you just hate and just hate like you're just a hater and I think it's wrong because nobody should treat nobody like that if nothing's been done to them and family members like that, I just stay far away from because they're not worth my time or my energy or my effort because you're just a hater and a loser. So I don't, I don't keep myself around that type of energy and I think it's wrong. I mean, there's no point in being extra to somebody if they haven't done nothing to you. If somebody's done mm -hmm. something to you, I get the point of being like yes. aggressive and not talking and being rude, but 
I mean, nothing's done and you just don't like the partner because they black or they're this or they're that like it's like you're weird you're a loser i don't even have the energy to entertain you and i'm just being honest i'm not even i'm not even trying to be on that type of time because i'm not the type of person but i'm saying like i'm just being completely honest it's you're a waste of time so family members like that stay far away from the people leave them people alone let them people live their boring miserable lives you know what i'm saying like that's how i feel about that i don't got time for that I'm too wrong to be playing around with people like that so i just want to ask your opinion on those things because i know we've all kind of maybe experienced cert certain situations where you deal with certain family members of your partner and they're just weird and they give weird energy and bad vibes and you're like y'all need to get a life you meet people like that and especially if you dated outside of your race you might know more about it but it definitely comes with the territory sometimes when you date outside your race or, you know, in a partnership like us. So, yeah, it right. is what it is. It comes with territory. I, it don't bother me that to where I'm over here just crying and doing all that extra stuff. Like, y'all live y'all life. Be miserable. Hey. I'm happy over here, baby. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, But overall, we've been having a good time out here in Houston. And it's been cool. It's been fun meeting. A lot of people showed love to me actually. When we went ice skating. Y'all really messing with the drip. I like that. I may have to start investing into like some fashion tutorials or something because when you go out in public and people just be like, hey, I like that fit, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just like y'all make me feel so loved. I may have to show love back by giving some some information out about how I do this, how it does this. And Cassie's like, girl, you don't shut up. <laughs> Why are you gonna be like that? <laughs> we, gonna try we gonna try the spaghetti. Oh, you're gonna try it too? Yeah, why not? Even though I'm not really a big <coughs> spaghetti fan. Mm -mm. Y'all already got cheese on top of it. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> I don't know. Here, come on. You get that, you get that side. This side? You want me to pour some on there? Or what? Yeah, can you pour some? Here. Can you? Yes. Can I put it on top? Yeah, that's fine. Woohoo! The noodles! Ah! Oh lord, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Here, let me do like this. Alright, y'all, we about to try this now. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Some sauce in here. Mm -hmm. Um, it tastes okay. I don't. The the tomato sauce doesn't really have like a um a acid tomato taste. It has more of a sweet taste. It's more of a bacon sweet tomato sauce flavor i don't know what it tastes like it don't taste like tomato sauce it don't but i don't know <laughs> what it it's a sweet flavor i don't have the strong acid flavor you don't like it mm -mm. zero out of ten mm -hmm. i would give it about a three and that's only because I just really am not a fan of spaghetti, but, and it's really because of the tomato sauce. But I mean, it tastes okay. Like I, I don't mind it, but about three. See, Cassie's used to her mm -hmm. own style, the American style spaghetti, not the Filipina style. Shout spaghetti. out to you, mom. She might want to watch this. She might watch it. She might be watching. Oh, yo. I don't want to forget about the pie, y'all. My bad. We got the peach mango. I think she said that before. They had a one. The peach one. mango. Yeah, I think they had a purple one. When I was. What was the flavor? Oh S man. Sweet potato. That was purple. I'm not a pie fan, so I can't. And if you like pie, it probably would taste really good. The, the breading is soft. It has a nice flavor the breading does the inside of it's not too sweet not too unsweet 
but if you like pie, I think you would really like it. It tastes all right. I'm just not a pie fan. So overall, if I had to rate everything, the chicken I had and the fries I had, the little meal, I would say it would definitely was probably like for sure a six out of 10. The fries, like I said, the fries were kind of like McDonald's, McDonald's fries. The chicken was crunchy. Um, it was, had a good season to it. It did start tasting like fish towards the end. So I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I did, you know, put it to the side because I don't like fish. So I had to kind of put that to the side. But overall, if you like chicken and, and you like fish, from what I tasted, it tasted kind of like fish at the end. You, It'll be a good, but you'll probably like it. Spaghetti, that was a, what did I say that was? I think it said it was three out of 10 yeah. or something like that. I think I said it was three, about three. And uh, tomato sauce doesn't taste like regular tomato sauce. It's like a sweet flavor to it. Um, so it was okay. It was okay, but it's not not my thing. Um, so yeah, I'm a, and this juice right here, 10 out of 10. It's just pineapple juice in the cup. That's all it is. But it tastes really good. So that's what I would rate this food. Shout out to all the people out there, Filipinos out there, everybody that's been trying this. Thank you, family members, even people on social media, giving us the opportunity to come out here to Houston to try this. And we enjoyed this. How about you, Cassie? How you feel about this? Um, well, my rating's gonna be a little lower. Probably like, uh, three. Okay, overall or whatever. Yeah, overall. Okay. The pineapple juice was good, the fries. What you gave the pineapple juice? A 10. 10 out of 10 for the pineapple juice. Shout out to Jolly Beads with the, the pineapple juice. The fries were just like McDonald's. The chicken was good in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I was going to rate it a 7 in the beginning, but then uh -huh. I started tasting like, eh. So I'm like, eh, no. Um, the spaghetti, you know, peach, mango, by no. Sauce was good. Okay. So. All right. So she rated 3 out of 10 overall. I rated about 6 out of 10 overall. And juice, 10 out of 10. So, like I said, shout out to y'all. We really appreciate it. Thankful for everybody out there that has been watching and supporting. And it's real soon, so don't get too worried. Don't get too afraid. Your girl's going to be back. Don't get scared. All right? <laughs> so, peace.